Eh, I'm looking at years. Wanna watch this movie? Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Belfast. This is a film written and directed by Kenneth Brennan, and it stars a lot of very prominent Irish as well as some English actors. I was hearing a lot of praise and hype about this movie last year. Unfortunately, it was really hard to kind of try and see anything due to the theater lockdowns and blah blah blah. Finally, did just go out and see it. First off, I'm actually quite surprised at how short it is. This has got to be the shortest film that Kenneth Branigan has ever been a part of. Considering the man basically tried to put every single Shakespeare play to film, even succeeding in making a Hamlet movie over four hours long, the fact that this is barely over an hour and a half, this does take away from the film's direction, but I'll get to that in a minute. This film is essentially a time capsule of a very short span of time, about a year of 1969 in Belfast, when the strife between the Protestants and the Catholics were quite high. Now, from the very short history lesson I got from my wife, the majority of Ireland is Catholic, except for Northern Ireland, which is Protestant, because they still wanted to stick in with London. Protestants were quite harsh to Catholics and vice versa, to the point where if you weren't with either one, you were an enemy of both. There are parts like that in the film where the Protestants are trying to get other Protestants to get with them so they can go harass and terrorize the Catholics. And then when some of them are like, hey, you know, that's kind of a dick thing to do. We just want to be friendly with our neighbors. We're like, well, fuck you. We're going to go and beat you up now. The ideology of religion in a nutshell, kind of. <laughs> that's a topic for another day. I'm not touching that with a 60 foot pole. The soundtrack is so good. I was just tapping my foot to every single tune in this film. A ton of little pieces of history throughout this film in terms of just the living style of of Ireland at the time. Going back to the narrative complaint I kind of have is that there is this inner dilemma with this family uh, of whether they should stay in Belfast or not considering the rising escalation and violence that's happening around them but they're torn between moving to somewhere new and love and know and have so much history in the area that they are in. They love their neighbors for the most part and they have such great relations with everyone except for those who are just assholes. And that is it. That's essentially the strife for this film. Otherwise, there isn't much exactly that happens in this movie. It's very much kind of a life in the day of this kid, just seeing what happens with his parents and everyone around him. A film that sort of kept coming into the back of my mind was Kess, a film directed by Ken Loach, I think actually at the exact same time that this film takes place. While that film is a lot more grimmer and a lot darker and a lot more depressing than this movie is, I did feel a few similarities in terms of how this story progresses, its aimlessness of it. It's more so of a capsule in time rather than an actual narrative. Also, I do like the cinematography in this film. While it is pretty much all black and white, I did like some of the static shots. Some of the shots where they have people kind of just in the corners for no real reason, but oddly enough it works pretty well. I do like this film for what it is. It's essentially just Kenneth trying something different, especially from what he's used to doing. I can't imagine this film cost a lot to make in comparison to the other projects that he and the cast have worked on. And everyone does a really good job. I think the performances by everyone is quite solid. But there is this definite issue with this film is that once you watch it, you're just going to forget about it. You're never going to want to watch it again. There isn't really that much of a draw to it to make you want to watch it again. Just a fleeting thought. It goes through one ear and out the other. You might think about it for a few minutes, but afterwards, that's it. Could this get nominated for things? I can see that, possibly, but at the same time, it's one of those movies that you know will get nominated for a bunch of things, but it won't win anything. The only thing I could think of that it has a slight chance at, maybe, might be cinematography. That's a stretch in itself. Belfast is a light-hearted little piece of history for you to watch and experience and enjoy and then kind of just forget about it. So my final rating for Belfast is a 4 out of 7. I'm happy that I finally got to see this movie, and I like that it's so short. <laughs> but I guess I was expecting just a little bit more kind of direction to it, considering how many people were praising this movie. Those are my thoughts about this movie. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.